What is up there guys, my name of course is Ray. Today I'm going to be giving you guys a tutorial on how to get better frames per second with Minecraft. If you have a laptop that uses an NVIDIA GeForce GTX or GT um, graphics card. Now before you skip ahead and are disappointed in the results, please do this before trying this out. Go to your start menu and search up device manager. Once you're here, Click the drop down arrow next to display adapters and make sure one of these options is an NVIDIA GeForce and the other is an Intel or any other type of graphics card. Once you're done with that, you can X this out. Now normally, if uh, this, I have the ASUS Geo 551 jm and when I first got this laptop and loaded up Minecraft, now you're going to see me tinker with something. Just act as if I just double clicked that. So I'm going to go ahead and run it. Not with Forge, just normal Raving Rabbit 34. We're going to wait for this to load. Come on. Okay. So now that you're here, go ahead and go into single player. Choose any world or, or you know, just this, load up any world. And uh, you're in the world. And it's, uh, it's kind of choppy, but you guys can't tell since I'm only recording in 30 frames a second. Going to F3, you're getting like 40-ish frames per second. You're like, what is this? Uh, and I'm running in 12 chunks. What is what is what is this? This is a gaming notebook. I did not expect this. And you are in fact right. A gaming notebook should not have this type of performance on a low-end game. So what the laptop is actually doing here, when you load up that game, is instead of it, when it's doing this, uh, I'm gonna just show you guys something. By default the laptop runs the game using uh, on my computer the Intel HD graphics 4600 and not the Nvidia graphics processor and Nvidia is obviously the dominant graphics processor it does this to conserve power and doesn't know that Minecraft is a game to run the GeForce GTX so if you're one of those people and you don't know what's happening or why it's doing this a simple fix would be to right click the icon the Minecraft icon scroll over it run with graph graphics processor, choose the high performance NVIDIA processor and it'll, we'll go ahead and load this up hopefully you guys will be able to see it um, I'm not sure oh, oops, wrong button sorry about it, I'm just double clicking it because I'll show you guys in a bit so now that we have it set to run with the NVIDIA processor like we did, we're going to notice a significant increase in the FPS. Go ahead and press F3 here. It's going to rise up and it's going to it's going to stop at 60 frames per second. I have VSync turned on. So we should go ahead and turn that off. And once you look up, you'll see like, whoa, frames per second. That just went up a lot. And, you're, and yeah, yeah, because that's, that's, that's what a graphics processor is or a gaming notebook is supposed to do. Supposed to, be gaming is supposed to do very well when playing these types of games. So that those are the results that you want to see. And to do that, like like before, all you have to do is find the icon, the Minecraft icon, right click, run with graphics processor, and choose the high performance NVIDIA processor. Now normally it'll say integrated graphics and uh, in parentheses default next to it. And if you want everything to just run off the high performance NVIDIA processor, here's what you want to do. Right click your desktop click NVIDIA control panel and once it loads up uh, to the left you're gonna have these three options click on manage 3d settings I'm already there click on the tab that says global settings and then under preferred graphics processor click the drop down and choose high performance NVIDIA processor and this will tell the laptop to basically run any game or program with the high performance NVIDIA processor thus making them run faster uh, one misconception that most people think is that, oh, Minecraft is relying on the CPU, and that is entirely and utterly wrong. You are idiots. You should never think that again. Um, most, if not all, games are reliant on your graphics processor. However, if your CPU isn't good enough, uh, there is bottlenecking, which is not a good thing. Um, so, so that's what you want to do if you want to get better frames per second. And always make sure, when you go to Device Manager, that, uh, oops... 
that you have those two display adapters, not the same, they could be any Intel something and any Nvidia something, but just make sure those two in there. Because most of the time it's going to run them off of the Intel graphics processor. So thank you guys for watching. Be sure to lot, drop a like, comment, or a, a subscribe if I did help you guys out. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you all in the uh, next video. Bye-bye.